YouTube, it's uh, Ambix Zero again. I know I haven't made a video in a long time. It's honestly because I ran out of ideas. I got a really quickie one today, um, just because I was going to do this anyway, so I figured, eh, why not make a tutorial out of it? And what I'm going to show you how to do is to take ISO files and bin files and whatnot and burn them to CD and DVD, which, uh, if you saw my other video on how to download movies and games and stuff, this is essential because a lot of them are ISO files. And uh, what an ISO file is, is a uh, compressed um, package of the files uh, that can go onto a DVD and, uh, or CD, and they will be read once you put in your CD. All right, so like, what you're going to need is uh, Magic ISO, I'll show you that in a second, and blank CDs or DVDs. Um, just to let you know, DVDs can go on CDs. It's not like... They're, they're really the same thing, it's just that DVDs have more space on them. So, for what I'm doing today, I'm going to need a DVD. Um, okay, so let's pretend that you downloaded uh, some movie. I'm not going to name a movie because that will really date the video. <laughs> um, and you get it, and it's an ISO, and you're like, oh, I don't understand, how am I supposed to do this? What you're going to need is Magic ISO Maker. Uh, it also burns. And... I don't know if you need it, but you should have the full version. Uh, obviously, you don't need to buy it, but I'm not going to tell you how. Please don't ask me, because every time I do something like this, I get 300 messages. Oh, how do I do it? Can you get it for me? No, 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 no. Do it yourself. I'm not going to be responsible. Um, so, yeah, get the full version. It might work with the non-full I don't really remember. Whatever. Once you install that, anything that is a dot... ISO, a uh, .bin, I think there's a few other ones, it will have this CD looking image. So I'm going to be using Backtrack 4, which is a, a Linux operating system, and that's going to be going on my other computer because I'm tired of Windows. So yeah, once you have that, let's uh, double click it and it will open Magic ISO Maker. That's all good. So this is really easy. Now you have your DVD in there or your CD. It's blank, ready to be uh, written to. So let's go ahead and press burn. Find the CD or the uh, CD image. Sorry, CD image is another word for ISO file. Okay, so it's loaded in. Now choose our writing speed. Um, now this can be tricky because the faster you write, the more chance for errors there are, but it won't take an hour to write, because writing takes a very long time. The slower you write, like, if you go as slow as possible, you're not going to have a problem, but, um, like, like I said, it, it will take a very long time. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle, um, because it's an operating system, I guess that's kind of important. So I'll go down to 2, uh, 2,822 kilobytes a second which is one of the options for me. That might not be one for you. Um, test writing. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, it says DVD plus RW. That's DVD rewritable disk. It's already in. It already detected my DVD burner. Uh, we're all good. By the way, if you don't have a DVD or CD burner, this obviously isn't going to work. Um, and we're pretty much set to go. So just press uh, burn it, and it will attempt to burn your disk, it'll tell you if you don't have enough space, which is where you would need to switch to a DVD. I just tried it on a CD, and uh, it didn't work. You're probably about to hear my fan go very, very loud, by the way. Why this takes such a long time to load, I'm not sure. So I'm actually going to pause this because my fan just kicked in, so hang tight for one second. Okay, I know my fan's still going crazy. I'm hoping you can still hear me. If not, I'll just cut this out. But you can see the progress bar going now. It's actually going very fast for normal. I guess I picked a fairly high writing speed compared to what I wanted to do. But that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit here and wait, so I'm going to pause the video again. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's ready to go. Okay, and it is at 100%. It's going to uh, kill all of its processes now and eject my disk in uh, one second. Oh. I just heard the CD spin. You probably heard it too, because I have an internal mic now, because my uh, external one broke. 
So that'll eject me. That's my thing in one second. Okay. Uh, there it goes. It popped out. I'm sure you heard that. Uh, and now this is a full Backtrack 4 beta operating s um, system on disk and ready to go in my other PC. Now, when you're making movies, if it's not an ISO file, it's a very different technique. I'll probably make a video on that later. Um, yeah, but if it's an ISO for like a game or something like that, you're going to need to burn it to a disk like this, or use Magic ISO to mount it to a fake disk drive. I'm not doing a tutorial on that one. But yeah, that was this tutorial. Now also, if you guys could do me a favor, uh, right now I'm trying for the first time to upload my video in a much higher quality than I have before. This will be as close to HD as I can get. Uh, so I need you guys to tell me if you like the new quality, if, uh, if you think my videos are better with this new uh, quality that I am using right now. So, it would help me a lot. And also, again, if I helped you, or if you just like my awesome voice, that's right. Alright, fine, take out that last part. Uh, but anyway, seriously, uh, subscribe, add me as a friend so that I can keep you guys updated. Um, I got a really cool project coming up soon, hopefully in HD as well. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with computers, to, to say, sort of. But uh, you're still gonna like it, especially if any of you are Halo fans, not to give it away. But, uh, yeah, so subscribe, add me as a friend, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.